Hello, everybody, and uh, welcome to another um, Kangaroo English uh, live homeschool class. Um, <clears throat> today is uh, Tuesday, the best day of the week. <laughs> and um, today we're going to do uh, various uh, different things, but it will be a little bit different from yesterday because because today I am not going to invite uh, people to talk to me on Zoom uh, live. Today I'm going to do a I'm going to do an interactive class on Zoom when this when this live class finishes. Um, so if if you want to, if you want to participate in the live class, the live interactive class after this one, then please uh, follow the link at the top of this chat. Uh, actually, the link is the link is down below in the description box. So please look at the link in the description box. In one hour at twelve o'clock. We are going to do a live uh, interactive class about conditionals. Okay, conditionals. Um, yeah, so, um, but before that, before that, we are going to play some games. Okay? Uh, games are, are fun. <laughs> some language games. Okay, so uh, let's just say hi to some people here. Uh, we have uh, Gianfra uh, Gianfrancesco Pinna. Hello. Good morning. Thank you, Gianfrancesco. Uh, Vikas Mahato, uh, Ahmed Hekare, um, Rosa Caseros here, uh, Gertrudis Ramirez, uh, Oscar Garcia, uh, 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 Giuseppe Vasta. Uh, Isabel Blasquez is here. Um, so many people from uh, from from all over the world. It's uh, it's it's awesome. So um, I don't want to do any more talking. Let's uh, let's play some games. So first, I want to show you a game that you can play at home. It's totally free. And it's a game from Google, okay? It's called Symantris, okay? And basically, it's a game of word association. Simple game of word association. So, uh, there's, two, there's two different modes. There's arcade mode and, and, uh, and blocks mode. So, we're going to play blocks, okay? Play blocks. Here we go. So, basically, the objective is to type a word related to one of these words at the bottom. Okay? So, for example, uh, museum. I'm choosing museum. It's blue. Uh, a related word for me is art. And now let's see what happens. Art is related to do, 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 do. horse. No, museum. <laughs> Art is related to museum. So now, basically, that, that word museum will disappear and turn into points. Okay, let's continue. Sports. Uh, football. Yay. Um, and see, blocks that are all the same color will all disappear. Awesome. Uh, king, queen. Okay, so what, what I like about this game is that it is totally random. And it's just fun. It's a little bit of fun that you can play, um, you know, for, for 10 minutes at home. On your computer, on your telephone. Uh, turtle shell. Boom. <laughs> okay. Um, so, uh, 
totally free game. It's called Symantris, okay? Symantris, and uh, you can. Um, it's it's made by Google, so you can go to the you can go to the URL and uh, and play it. Okay, I'm gonna type the name in here. Symantris. Symantris. Okay. Um, now another game that I think is really interesting, um, that is totally free, is called Ling Your Language. Okay, Ling Your Language, and basically how it works is you choose your difficulty. So I'm going to choose regular, regular. Our and viewers will no doubt recall the Royal Commission into Misconduct in the Financial Services Industry, which was announced by the government late last year after a lot of pressure from the opposition uh, and the Banking Association conceding that it was... <laughs> so, so basically, they have this audio and you have to guess what language they're speaking. So that was easy. OK, that was English for me. OK, let's go. Next one. A denunciar a necessidade dessa medida que é, repito, extraordinária. Outros fatos e eventos ocorridos após a decretação da prisão cautelar. Ah, uh, that is the beautiful sounds of Portuguese. I know that one. That's easy. Okay. Da sua tal magrebia que é natadera, bicoa fi halca da voz, mal mostarikin a Sam Sarhan, a lady gana ognia, minaturas el magrebi, o Shema Abdel Aziz, Aida, no letnan, and the mali farik hamai, a lady was rabil umur, ila takdim khatam li Shema. The beautiful sounds of Arabic. Okay, let's do another one. Caray, tenemos un candidato que mandó al diablo las instituciones. Los mandó verbalmente y con acciones, pero no tenía la... Okay, and that one is uh, Spanish, of course. Now, maybe you're thinking, um, how, how is this game helping me to, to learn English? Like, what is the, um, what is the, the point of this game? Because it's about recognizing other languages. I think... What it does is it shows you how the sound, okay, the rhythm, the rhythm and the sound of different languages is so unique and distinct, okay? And so you can, you can take the, what you hear in other languages and make the necessary changes for English, right? So, for example, when I'm, when I'm listening to the Spanish... La fuerza ni el poder necesario para realmente desde las instituciones mandarse al diablo. Lo hicieron ellos. Lo hicieron la actual Procuraduría, mandó al diablo las instituciones. Creo por ahí la receta... So, you know, I can, I can hear that, that, there's that there's that intonation, you know, that in Spanish it's so, that's so clear, which is, which is very different from the sound of English. And... It just, it helps you to understand how each language has its own beautiful rhythm that's, that's not about the words, you know, it's about the, it's about the, 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 the music of the language. And so when you hear more languages, you can, you can, you can try to kind of imitate the music of English. Let's do one more, because I ja, love this Ja, das Problem game. ist eher, dass man das ja nicht mehr los wird. Also es gibt ja auch heute noch Artikel, wo ich dann okay. äh, so lese. Ja, das the, uh, the sound of the efficient and, and, and regular German. I mean, Dow Kings is going to be a good one. So, the next three years of new growth, plus the new export data, 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 the lingyourlanguage.com ling i'm going to type it in the description box lingyourlanguage.com uh okay cool so they are some games that just two games that you could play that you could play at home that are that are quite fun i think they're fun games 
Uh, but now, but now let's play some real interactive language games. Okay, so uh, 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 unmute that and then put this screen in here. Okay, hello world. <laughs> Okay, we are going to play a game called Linky. Okay, so in Linky, let me just put this back again. Um, where's my mouse gone? Oh my. <laughs> in Linky, we have four questions. Okay, four questions. And the answers to those four questions are linked together. And you have to. Answer the questions and then find the links. Okay? It's really simple. So let's play. Okay. Question number one. We're going to put some scores up on the board here. Okay. Question number one. What do you call the period of human development between... Between... A child and an adult. What is the name of the period between a child and an adult? Who knows what it's called? <sighs> this one's a little bit a little bit easy. This one should be easy. Um, uh, hello, Dashi. Hello, Michael. Hello, Helga and Lena. <laughs> okay, we have some answers. We have some answers here from uh, Marcos and uh, and Dimitri. And Ney, and Ali, and Irina. Um, so, yes, the more the more um, uh, adolescents. So the more formal word for this would be adolescence. Okay, this is more of a medical. It's more of a medical kind of word, you know, um, more technical, and. And and this is exactly why I think it's I think it's it's fair to say that synonyms don't exist. <laughs> because really words can be similar, but they're never the same. They're never the same because they're they're for different social contexts, different you know, different word um uh, word associations. So so, you know, there's not really a true synonym. So, adolescence, or it would be called, uh, t uh, oops, I can spell, I promise, a teenager. Okay. Very good. A teenager is between your, your child and an adult. Why a teenager? Well, because, you know, think about it. You have third, third, teen... Fourteen, right? Do you see this? Do you see this? Okay, that's why they're called teenagers. Cause Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and British people are always complaining that Americans are destroying English. <laughs> Americans are destroying English with their horrible. Um, dumb vocabulary, right? But actually, Americans, especially young American women, are very creative and imaginative, and they invented that word, teenager. So, next time you hear um, British people complaining about Americans ruining English, just, just remind them that... <laughs> In every sentence they use, they probably have an American, an American word, right? Uh, okay. Next question. Clue number two. What is the fastest land mammal? Okay. 
The fastest land mammal. Also, quite an easy question. Um, it is not Usain Bolt. <laughs> um, it is not me running to buy uh, pizza. Um, th those are not correct answers. <laughs> it is not me running away from my responsibilities. <laughs> Fastest land animal <laughs> is indeed the cheetah. Very good, guys. Very good. The cheetah. The cheetah. Okay. Let's move on to the next question. Number three. Um, which big cat is the second biggest in Africa after the lion? Okay, so we're in Africa. We have lion. And what's the next biggest cat? <laughs> and no, it's not my cat. My cat is extremely fat, overweight, addicted to food. I mean, constantly, constantly. I mean, if you, if you move in the kitchen, the cat's there like meow, meow, meow. You know, between the legs. <sighs> Massive cat. <laughs> um, no, it's not the tiger. No, it's not the jaguar. Um, Georgie Tev, Tevdorashville. <sighs> my, my pronunciation was perfect with, <laughs> with this guy's name. Um, Georgie Tevdorashvili. No, yeah, te, tev, Tevdorashvili. Georgie Tevdorashvili. <laughs> um, the correct answer is, of course, the leopard. Leopard. Okay, so we have teenager, cheetah, and leopard. Okay, and the final question. Which type of dogs did Cruella de Vil steal? Ooh. Do you remember Cruella de Vil? Uh, she's a famous... A famous villain, villain, a famous bad, a famous baddie, yeah, a famous, um, a famous uh, baddie, a famous villain, Cruella de Vil, who knows what, what type of dogs, what breed of dogs did Cruella de Vil, um, did Cruella de Vil steal? Uh, Oksana... Timoshenko said that I pronounced his name perfectly. Thanks, Oksana. <laughs> uh, um, very good. Very good. Very good, guys. You know this. <laughs> Antonio is correct. I'm, I'm doing this. I'm doing the Italian hand thing, but with the Russian accent. This, this, is, this is an interesting question. What... um. You know, because Italians are famous for Italians are famous for all of the different, you know, hand gestures and you know. Um, what about Russians? What um, what what hand gestures are the Russians doing? You know, are there any Russian kind of hand gestures? I'm curious. Tell me, I'm curious. Okay, uh, so the correct answer is Dalmatian. 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 <laughs> okay, so, um, the question is, who knows what the link is? What's the link? What's the link between a teenager, a cheetah, a leopard, and a Dalmatian? Hmm. Who knows? Who can guess what the link is? This is, this is an important question. <laughs> uh, 
Oksana Timoshenko says that um, Russians mostly use fists. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Giorgio's guessing that they're all mammals. No. All the animals need a veterinarian. No. Gosha. Gosha the eagle is on the money. Is absolutely on the money. The correct answer is spots. <laughs> so, so, so maybe you're thinking um, spots, but okay. Cheetahs have spots. Leopards have spots. Dalmatians have spots. But teenagers, well... If you look at a teenager, and remember, they're not happy. They're not happy because they're teenagers. <laughs> they have spots all over their faces. Sometimes. It depends on hormones and all different types of things. Um, and and uh, if... If you want to be cruel, if you want to be horrible, you can uh, call these people pizza face because you know it's like it's like a, it's like a pizza. And uh, so, I don't know. Maybe if it's because I'm old, I don't know if people say that anymore. Hey, pizza face. Well, uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, let, let's do another one because this is this is great fun. Let's do let's do one that's a bit more difficult. Okay. Uh, 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 okay. Um, okay, I like this one. Yes. Um, this is more difficult. Okay, you ready? You ready? Here we go. Question number one. Which drink is available in full fat... And semi-skimmed. Which drink can you buy full fat and semi-skimmed? <laughs> it's it's so funny because there's some there's some people arriving late to the um to the class. And so I'm saying, what drink is available in full fat and, and, and semi-skimmed? And people are saying, Panther. <laughs> okay, Panther's not a drink, guys. <laughs> Coca-Cola, no. Um, oh, okay, so this is... Pe Pepsi, no. Come on, world's best TikTok official. <laughs> it's not Pepsi. <laughs> Of course, it's milk. Okay, so maybe that was too easy. Let's see if this one's a bit more difficult. Um, okay. If you, if you want to give somebody advice... Okay, this is number two. Imagine you want to give somebody advice. We say that you are giving them pearls of what? Pearls of... Of what you say? Let me, let me give you some advice. Let me give you some pearls of, of what? Now this is more, um, this is more difficult because, you know, it's a, uh, it's, it's an idiom in English, a phrase, a set phrase. Ooh, romancer, amazing job. Amazing job. Ooh, Rosa Casero as well. And Nimpo. That's Nimpo with no H. Very important. Uh, ooh, Mike Saw says wiseness. That word doesn't exist, but it should exist. Wiseness, why not? Very good, very good. They are pearls of, oops, wisdom. Pearls of wisdom, little pearls of, of wisdom. Okay, so let's put this one in as well. Wisdom. And let's get rid of the capital for that. Okay. Number three. Number three. Okay. Um, 
What do you call an alert that is a mistake? It's called a something alarm. A something alarm. When we when we uh, when we kind of announce an alert. Oh my god! Oh my god! But it's but it's a mistake. It was an accident. What do we call it? What do we call it? It's uh. uh so wisdom, wisdom is the is the noun, is the noun for why. So wisdom is the uh, noun, okay, and wise is the adjective, okay. So. Wise is uh, a, an adjective to describe somebody who is um, uh, who is uh, who knows a lot of things. Okay. Um, now, because because very good. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right about about this. It is a false alarm. Okay, a false alarm. So false. So. Um, a lot of, a lot of people were asking me about, about this book that I talked about yesterday, about a book about intelligence. And there's basically two, there's two main types of intelligence. Okay. Um, so if this is time or age and this is intelligence, Intelligence. Um, generally, <laughs> generally, it, it it looks like this. Okay, don't be offended. <laughs> okay, it looks like this. <laughs> now, this is this is me. Okay, <laughs> in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> um cuz cuz basically here you here you have a lot of something called fluid intelligence okay fluid intelligence is like you know your brain is young and it's it's cr creating lots of connections in the brain okay lots of lots of connections with neurons and um so your your brain is is really kind of fresh and 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 healthy right and active so so here this this is a great moment for intelligence here but then <laughs> but then here it's like you have kids and you're not sleeping okay so sleep is out okay and um you have lots of stress and you have lots of bills, and it's just your intelligence is just is just <laughs> okay, dumb, <laughs> right? But then here, here, uh, as we as we come up uh, on the other side, let me just move this uh, down a little bit uh, if I can, right? As we as we come up uh, here on the other side, here, um, this is when we have crystallized 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 intelligence okay there it is there crystallized and crystallized intelligence is basically wisdom okay it's wisdom it's intelligence that comes from all of your life's experiences right it's like You've seen a problem before, so now you know how to solve this problem. Or, um, yeah, you've, um, you know, you have experience with how to, you know, make a great pizza or how to fix your car or how to do all of these different things. So th this is basically um, how, how intelligence, <laughs> how intelligence works and yeah, and unfortunately, well, there we are. Um, so, 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 wisdom, okay, wisdom is this crystallized intelligence. It's, 
it's things that you know from experience. Okay, it's um, crystallized intelligence. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, let's do... Let's do clue number four. Clue number four, clue number four. Okay. <laughs> what is another... Well, no, um, yeah. What is the technical term... Okay, the kind of the kind of Latin Latin technical term for a dog. The Latin technical term for a dog. Tony thirty two has has jumped the gun. Okay? He's jumped the gun. Which is you know you know in the um in the uh, in the Olympics, let me uh, let me just delete this. Okay, so here we have the 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 Olympics, right? And here we have all of the people waiting to run. Okay, and here's the man. Okay, the the man here, and he has the gun. Okay, the starting gun. The starting gun. And so when he when he fires the gun, that's when that's when everybody can run, right? But some people, some people, they jump the gun. Run. <laughs> some people go before the gun, they jump the gun, and Tony32 jumped the gun. And he guessed correctly, okay? K9. K9. <laughs> K9. So, um, who knows the link between these four things? What? What's, what's the link between milk, wisdom, false, and K9? What could it possibly be? It seems like there's no logic. There's no logical connection here. <laughs> right. Uh. <laughs> Laurie Star. Laurie Star nailed it. <laughs> Okay, Oxana's saying technically it should be Caninius vulgaris or Caninius bestius. Okay. <laughs> Tony32, yes, you do get a cookie to go with your, um, with your, <laughs> with your correct answer, which was, of course, teeth. Uh, so canines, canines are these pointy teeth here, right? You know the... The pointy ones, the vampire teeth, they're your canines. Of course, false teeth. <laughs> uh, they're the teeth that you take out at night and put, them, and put them next to your bed, your false teeth. Wisdom teeth are the teeth at the back. Okay, The teeth at the back that a lot of people have to have them removed. Okay, your wisdom teeth. And uh, your milk teeth are the teeth that fall out um, when you're, uh, you know, when you're a, a child, before your before your real teeth come in. Milk teeth, yes. Um, so that was good, good guys, really good. <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack says he's um, he's <laughs> he's just here for the art lessons. I mean, I'm not surprised. I mean, look at this. This is this is art, real art. <laughs> um, okay, we're gonna do one more. We're gonna do one more of these, and then we're gonna do we're gonna play a different game. Okay. Um, this one's gonna be more difficult. Okay. There's some there's some advanced vocabulary here, and some culture. Okay. And some culture. Ready? What do you call the pocket of fluid under your skin 
caused by friction. Okay, so let's uh, let's visualize this with a um, with a little bit of a. So imagine that you have a hammer, right? That's right. That's a beautiful hammer. And then imagine that you have uh, your hand. Oh my lord! Look at this. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm not even I'm not even lying. I'm not even joking. I actually applied to, to go to art school and I, and I got rejected. What a surprise. I got I got rejected because my portfolio was um was like this. You can imagine. Um okay, so um yeah, so imagine imagine that all day, all day you're working you're working with this hammer in your hand, and so you develop this this these things, okay, these little pockets all over your hand filled with fluid. Okay? Like liquid. <laughs> um what do you call them? Ooh. So Giovanni Musso is suggesting that they might be called uh, hematoma, um, or in American English, a hematoma, right? Um, but a hematoma is uh, filled with blood. This is not blood. This is just fluid. Okay, fluid, um, and it is indeed called a blister. Very good, guys. Great vocabulary. And in fact, um, if you uh, take any medications, for example, here I have some uh, some some multivitamins. Okay, or as they say in British English, multivitamins. <laughs> here I have some multivitamins. Now this this type of packaging, okay, is called a blister pack. Because these are like little blisters, right? Like on your fingers, huh? little blisters, blister pack. Great, great vocabulary. Uh, okay, so it's called blisters. Uh, in in Arabic, they're called folalas. Mm. Uh, let me see if I can um, if I can write that word in Arabic because you know I'm learning Arabic and I have to practice uh, so that could be connected like that uh, maybe no 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 that's not right wait maybe like this maybe tholala and it would be thor or yeah thor La la. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe that's completely wrong. I'm still learning the um the alphabet, so it's very difficult. Um, anyway, uh, I got distracted. I do apologize. Um, <laughs> um. Okay, let's do let's do number two. Let's do number two. Um. This is uh, an idiom in English, okay? An idiom, a phrase in English. So it's um, <laughs> if if you try to do something very difficult before you're ready, we say you are trying to mm, before you can uh, walk. Uh, okay, so, um, it's, <laughs> my Arabic writing was really bad, so, no, it was not correct, <laughs> just, you know, just so, uh, just so you know, everybody, um, yeah. <laughs> um, 
So uh, a lot of people know that the correct answer for this is, of course, to run before you can walk. But what's interesting, what's interesting is a lot of people are saying, a lot of people are saying that it's jump before you walk or fly before you walk. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe, maybe in other, in other cultures, in other languages, they say jump before you walk. We do have an expression, which is look before you leap. Which means that you, um, you know, look, you know, b basically before you jump into the water, you should check that there's no, you know, obstacles in the water, any bad stuff in the water. Right. Okay. Run. Okay. Clue number three. Clue number three. What is, now this is a culture question, it's a culture question. What is the name of the most popular brand of dishwashing tablets? Dishwashing tablets. The brand of the most popular popular dishwashing tablets <laughs> um i can see from the comments that my my arabic teacher is going to be very upset with my with my performance today well, <laughs> um, Calgon, ooh, Tide, ooh, Cascade, ooh. So there's lots of if you if you look at the names of these tablets, they're all related to to, to oh, what did I do? Okay, they're all related to to water, right? Cascade, uh, Tide, um. What were some of the other ones? Uh, but, you know, a, ca a cascade is a, like a waterfall. Tide is the, the water rising and falling. It's all related to, to water because your, your dishwasher is full of water. And, but the correct answer is finish. So does, does, does anybody know what this is? Does anybody, can anybody find the link yet between blister run finish? Before I, before I give you the final clue. The final clue is 27 minus 0 0.8 equals what? <laughs> it's true actually, there is another brand of of dishwashing liquid called Ariel. And I wonder, is this because of the little mermaid? <laughs> you know, Ariel under the But you know, now now I'm thinking. Now I'm thinking that maybe Ariel, the name Ariel in the Little Mermaid is because of some like Greek, you know, Greek myth. Ariel, the god the goddess of the ocean or something, maybe, um, I don't know, <laughs> showing my ignorance here. The answer is 26.2 and, <laughs> and of course, uh, Daniela Salvatore, Daniela Salvatore and, uh, who, who, who else was in there early? Um, uh, I saw, uh, Mulat. Mulatovic 15 was also in there. Lots of people in there, of course. The link is, of course, marathon. A marathon is where you have to run 26.2 miles. And on your feet, when you finish on your feet, you probably have blisters. I would say probably. 
Yeah. I would say probably. Okay. Um, I want to play... Uh, I want to move on and play a different game now. Okay, so... Um, this is... This is essentially a game of... Uh, it's a drawing guessing game. A drawing guessing game. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to... Choose some... Uh, some random words, okay, a random noun, a random adjective, and a random, um, a random uh, uh, verb, and draw, and draw them, and you have to create the sentence, okay? But, but, I want you to create the sentence in, in, in uh, present, uh, sorry, in past simple and present, past simple and present perfect, okay, past simple and present perfect. I know that a lot of students are confused about past simple, present perfect, like, what's the difference? When do I use past simple? When do I use present perfect? Okay, so if we draw time here like this, okay. Now, uh, so here is the present. And uh, here's the future. Okay, and then we have the past. Okay, now imagine that something happens here. What happens here? You uh, eat pizza. Okay, great. Here's you in the past eating pizza, right? Um, so the, 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 the question is, which one is correct? T to talk about this event, which one is correct? Past simple or present perfect? Well, um... The important thing to realize is that there's no such thing as correct or incorrect. Choosing a verbal tense is about psychology, about perspective, right? So, um, what's the difference? So, past simple, the perspective, the perspective is if we if we say uh, past simple okay the perspective is that we are standing here okay we're standing here i'm trying to draw inside the the box we're standing here and we're looking at this event we're looking at this event isolated as an isolated moment in the past okay like this 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 boom here it is, this event, and this event has a start and a finish, okay? This past simple event has a start and a finish, and it's, it's isolated in the past, okay? But if we use, um, let's, let's delete this now. Let's delete all this, right? And this as well. Okay. Um, now, if we're using present perfect, okay, it's a little bit different. Basically, we view the event as something that has a clear start, okay, in the past, but... That's the only thing that we know, okay? We only know that it started in the past. We don't know if it finished. Is it still continuing until now? The eating the pizza? Don't know. All we know is it started in the past. It happened before now. That's the difference, okay? So it's not right or wrong. It's about... The psychology, the psychological difference, right? So, um, 
there's there's a, there's a psychological difference between um, well f first let's look at a at a real difference I lived in Boston I have lived in Boston now this one okay the first one past simple it's finished right it's finished now you don't live in Boston it's finished I have lived in Boston well I don't know maybe you live in Boston now maybe you don't it's not clear it's clear from the context but that that's that's a big difference but if if we're saying yesterday like for example I ate pizza last week or I've eaten uh, a lot of pizza <laughs> again you know again even if I remove this right we can we can make them the same you know again um, it's a big psychological difference I ate a lot of pizza you know, it feels, it feels finished. It feels like the pizza is, is done, right? But I've eaten a lot of pizza. It's like, well, I've eaten a lot of pizza, but probably today I'm going to continue. I'm going to continue with the, with the pizza eating. <laughs> okay. So, um, uh, let, let's, um, anyway, let's do a, um, uh, let, let's do uh, let's do uh, uh, a sentence, okay? Um, let's play this game. Okay, let me clear this. Okay, so remember, I want you to give me the sentence in uh, in um, in past simple and present perfect. Okay, here we go. Uh, uh, uh. Um, trying to be a good drawer. I'm trying to be a good artist here. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, okay. <laughs> um, okay. Wait. I need to. I need to add something here to this. Okay. Okay, so, man, that's a terrible drawing. Um, <laughs> so we have a, a person, um, I, I, need, I need the noun and the adjective, okay, and the verb. Who who can give me um, who can give me the noun and the adjective and the verb? <laughs> oh no! Oh. <laughs> yeah, a Augustine just just reminded me that obviously when I'm drawing, you can see my face, and uh, yeah, it's not. Um, it's not very, uh, it's not very, I'm sure it's not very attractive. Um, because I'm probably going like, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, Mike Saw says, I passed the bridge. Okay, good. But I need a noun and an adjective. Okay, Francois Marie says the muscled man is whistling. Ooh, nice. Very nice. The 
The muscled man is whistling. This is good. Okay, this is good. We got an adjective, we got a noun, we got a, uh, we got a verb. It's great. Uh, Dimitrio, Dimitrio Solodovnik says, um, a whistling man came to the bridge. Nice. Even more detail in this one. So that's past simple. Um, <laughs> these, these, these are muscles. Look, let me, let me show you that this is a normal arm and this is a muscly arm. <laughs> of course. <laughs> See, look at the muscles. <laughs> It's, uh, it's, it's, it's beautiful. It's, it's real art. Um, and this is a, this is, this, yeah, this is a river. Oh man, I need to work on my art skills. This is a bridge. This is a bridge and a river. And, uh, this is a muscly man. And, and, and he is, he is whistling. Exactly. Ooh, Canal Plus says... The crying girl rushed out. <laughs> um, and, and in fact, this is, this is a beautiful idiom in English, which is, we will cross that bridge when we come to it. We will cross that bridge when we come to it. Which basically means that... Um, <laughs> Which basically means that you will, there's a problem, you know, there's a problem in the future. Problem, it's a metaphor, right? This is a problem. And you're going to, you're going to overcome this problem. Okay, you see the, it's a metaphor. You see what we do? We have a problem and then we... Where's my equal sign? And we overcome, overcome the problem over the bridge. Um, so, yeah. Um, guys, I have a class planned right now for Zoom. Okay, so if you, if you look in the description box... If you look in the description box under this video, you will find a link to a Zoom classroom. It's an interactive classroom where I can talk to you, okay? And I'm going to teach you some conditionals. And then we're going to play a game with conditionals and have some conversation, okay? So if you want to participate in the Zoom classroom, Follow the link. I think there's a maximum of 100 places. Maximum 100 places. So I hope to see you. I hope to see you there now. Um, if not, I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, thank you so much for being an incredible audience. And uh, thank you so much for... Thank you for tolerating my art. My beautiful art. Um... I love you guys. Stay safe and I'll see you tomorrow. I'm Christian. This is Kangaroo English. I'll see you in class. <laughs>